Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Sotonye Fiesimana. If you're a subscriber, thanks for your support. If you're a returning visitor, I appreciate you dropping by again. Why not subscribe so that you'll receive updates of my video uploads? If you're here for the first time, welcome to my channel, where I discuss events that occurred on this day in history with a view to informing, hopefully entertaining, and most importantly, learning lessons from the positive events and mistakes of the past, and hopefully not repeating those mistakes, because as the saying goes, history tends to repeat itself. So guys, let's get cracking with today's important events as recorded in history. But first, we must roll back our blind in our usual tradition. We'll start with T. Elkins, pictured here. He was an American African-American inventor who patented the refrigerating apparatus on this day. So in 1879, T. Elkins, pictured here, patented the refrigerating apparatus from where we get our modern fridges today. So, a few more pictures. And uh, this is a poster that commemorates the events on this day. The patent, and then ice cabinet. Interesting spelling of cabinet there. Okay, so that is the result of his invention. Uh, it looks close, not far off from our modern fridge. It just looks like a fridge from the 50s or 60s. Well, yeah, so T.O. Kings on this day patented the refrigerating apparatus. 1922, on this day, British archaeologist Howard Carter, pictured here with his assistant, he discovered the tomb of Egyptian pharaoh Tutankhamen, which is judged to be the best preserved pharaonic tomb ever found in the Valley of the Kings. There are a few more pictures for me to show you. so. Stand by, guys. So this is all the discovery being photographed and recorded for posterity. Okay, let's move on now to the year 1924, two years later. American politician Nellie Taylor Ross became the first woman to be elected governor of a U.S. state, and that U.S. state was Wyoming. So 1924, the first woman governor, Wyoming's governor, the woman who made good, business-like, able, courageous. She has earned re-election. So a few more pictures of this lady, Nellie Taylor Ross. That's her there. Ah, looks very sophisticated here with her fur coat. Nellie Taylor Ross. So that's her. She was elected on this day, 1924, as governor of Wyoming. Okay. In 1946, 22 years later, Laura Lane Welch Bush, Lee Welch. Born on this day. She is an American educator who was first lady of the United States as the wife of President George W. Bush from 2001 to 2009. Bush previously served as first lady of Texas from 1995 to the year 2000. So that's Laura Lane Welch Bush who was born on this day in 1946, so happy birthday to Mrs. Bush. Born in Midland, Texas, Bush graduated from South Southern Methodist University in 1968 with a bachelor's degree in education and took a job as a second grade teacher. After attaining her master's degree in library science at the University of Texas at Austin, she was employed as a librarian. Bush met her future husband, George W. Bush, in 1977, and they were married later that year. The couple had twin daughters in 1981. So Laura 
Bush born on this day again in 1946, former first lady of the United States. So happy birthday again, Mrs. Laura Bush. Now, 1946, <clears throat> beg your pardon, not sure where that has come from. So anyway, apologies for the so many pictures there, but yeah, so the UNESCO, that's what um, I meant to show you just one picture. The UNESCO first general conference, um, so UNESCO was officially established on this day in 1946 as at its contribution constitution entered into force. This specialized agency of the UN called for the promotion of international collaboration in education, science, and culture. So the United Nations Educational, um, what's the meaning? United Nations Educational, Social, and Cultural Organization, I think. I think that's what it's called, uh, full meaning of UNESCO. So apologies for that. Um, these things happen from time to time. Let's move on to the year 1969. American actor and producer Matthew David McConaughey, pictured here, how McConaughey was born. He was born in Ubald, Texas. His mother, Mary Kathleen Nee McCabe, is a substitute school teacher originally from New Jersey. His father, James Donald McConaughey, was a Mississippi-born gas station owner who ran an oil pipe supply business. So they must have been loaded. So this is Matthew David McConaughey, who was born on this day in 1969. So happy birthday, Matthew McConaughey. He's 51 today. Let's move on to the year 1970. A year later, EDD was born. American rapper, record producer, and clothing designer. Combs was born in New York City, but was raised in Mount Vernon, New York. Combs has won three Grammy Awards and two MTV Video Music Awards and is the producer of MTV's Making the Band. In 2019, Forbes estimated his net worth to be $740 million. So that is P. Diddy or Sean Combs, his real name. So happy birthday, Sean Combs. He's 50 years old today. That's so hard to believe. Okay, let's move on now to the year 1995. Sadly, on this day, shockingly, the world was greeted with news that Yitzhak Rabin had been assassinated. He was an Israeli prime minister, co-recipient with Shimon Peres and Yasser Arafat of the Nobel Prize for Peace in 1994. So just a year later, he was assassinated by a Jewish extremist while attending a peace rally. See the irony of it. Attending a peace rally, he won the Nobel uh, Peace Prize a year earlier, and then um, a year later he's dead. Shot at a peace rally. Okay, um, 2008, last but not least, history was made in the United States when Democratic politician Barack Hussein Obama became the first African-American to be elected president of the United States. And the rest, as they say, is history. On that note, folks, we have come to the end of today in history for the 4th of November. Thanks for dropping by, guys. I appreciate your continued support. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, why not do so? Click the notification bell so that you receive updates of my video uploads. Like this video as well if you do like it. And also share this with your family and friends. It just helps the algorithm, helps push my video to more viewers. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you. I'm not, I don't take your support for granted at all. I appreciate your support. And I, hopefully I shall see you again tomorrow for another edition of Today in History. My name once again is Sotonye Afiasimama. If you have any suggestions as to how I can improve on the content and quality of this video, let me know in the comment section below. And if there are any errors in this video as well, let me know. Pronunciations I got wrong, let me know as well. 
you know, I, I seeking to improve on my content and the quality of the videos every day. I'm looking for ways to do that for free for now because obviously I haven't got the funding to to do um, top-notch videos at the moment. I'm just doing what I can. So again, I appreciate your support. I'll see you tomorrow, November 5th, for another edition of Today in History. Bye-bye.